Here, here's what's great on this one is that we have two answers that are the opposites of each other, which means these are going to set up really good. So I've got x minus and then x minus something else. This will equal 0. And my first value is the square root of 19. And the second value is the negative square root of 19, which means I'm just going to rewrite these. I got x minus the square root of negative 19. Not everyone would need this part, but I'm going to change this minus a negative to a plus, the square root of 19. What I have right here are conjugates of each other, which means, it's a yeah, it becomes a difference of square stuff, right? Uh, let, let's just look at the distribution on this just to show what is really happening here. So first thing I'm going to do is distribute this x into the other parentheses. So x times x is x squared. I'm not doing all the work like I did on the last one. I hope that's okay. And then uh, I'm adding the square root of 19 times x. And I separated those very deliberately. Um, and then we can distribute this square root of 19. So negative square root of 19 times x. Minus the square root of 19 times the square root of 19 is uh, 19. Well, from here we can see that these two middle terms cancel out. They become 0. So all I'm left with is x squared minus 19. That's exactly what we'd expect conjugates to do. And of course, those were equal to 0. So this is our final answer right here. If we wanted to, we could write this as x squared plus 0x minus 19 equals 0. This allows us to use the quadratic equation to solve these types of binomials, uh, which we could do, not that we really have to, but just in case you want to.